Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Jerry Lawler, Hall of Fame. Lawler is the free card uh, this month's MLC, and he has a lot to live up to with Hall of Fame Piper being the free card before him. Much like Piper, he has two gears available during the month as well, and also like Piper, they are both extremely obtainable. So this preview, we're going to have both gears equipped. Let's start right there with the gears. Uh, the first one you get, purple gems do 50% more damage. That's significant. And the second one, reinforced gems do 100% more damage. They are both pretty spiffy. Also, Lawler's monthly bonus is in effect for this. So he has plus 2 MP and plus 50% purple gem damage. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, all gem damage, not purple, all. And also 50% uh, all reinforce damage. So he has got his buffs going. I do not have any tour perks yet. As um, long as we're here, we'll take a look at the strap. And then we'll look at the card and see what his abilities and stuff are. I'm running this with two words for you on for the duration of this preview. Double Fury. Uh, I don't have a good Fury move damage metal that I wanted to use, so I used one of these rainbow ones that are, in general, pretty worthless because it has purple gem damage on it. Uh, the 35% isn't going to help that much. Uh, but there you have it. You can see the stats there. Uh, pretty good gem damage, which is what we want. Yeah, this is not your daddy's showboats. This is a high gem damage showboat. Speaking of, he is a showboat, Chaotic, Hall of Fame. He has the Hall of Fame link. We went over the gears, the silver and the gold, uh, and what they do. He is a coach. Purple submission moves last negative two more turns at 5k. You might be wondering who would this be good for? Mm, JBL Hawk with his massive leech gems on his sub. Uh, that would be pretty handy on him. So I have three build sets for you guys. They are all going to go very fast. They're very strong. A five star and two three stars. It will end up featuring all the moves. Um, this first one surprised me uh, a lot. I wasn't expecting this to do what it does. So let's take a look. Uh, mounted punches, level six, um, seven MP black. Deal 79k damage and choose seven purple gems to destroy. Back body drop, 8 MP black, deal 84k damage and make 4 random purple gems into cross breaks. Pile driver, um, 4 MP yellow, deal 90k damage and increase your black MP by 8. Uh, Entourage, we're running with Kofi for 4 uh, yellow MP to start. And Jeff Hardy to generate more cross break gems and then have them do more damage. Um, Ho Hol uh, Santa Hogan for 2200 more gem damage to all gems. And then Lacey Evans for purple and green gem damage do 20% more. No worries um, if you don't have Santa Hogan at 9k. Even at 3-star silver, which everyone should have been able to get him for free, he's at 1100. Still great trainer, still who I would use there. Uh, Jeff, you could actually potentially alternate someone else uh, if there aren't at least four purple gems. Um, you might consider wanting... Um, to go a different route but generally this works out pretty well so let's take a look and see how it runs uh, i enjoyed this set way more than i thought i was gonna um played it a bunch of times and it impressed me so let's see how it looks here of course if you get a dry board for purples it's not gonna look very good most likely but other than that it's really low charge to start so i love that 4 mp that's pretty fantastic and uh, it loads both of the blacks, so let's uh, let's hit it and get to it. Also, with two words for you, that's going to be great with what we're trying to do with this setup. Um, it just makes for a lot better chance of blowing up the whole board when it goes off, and it is certainly going off this turn, so we should get a significant portion of the board. A little bit of randomness to this. Uh, where the purples are and things like that, but I would imagine we get pretty much the most of the board. Almost a million damage with a 4 MP to load. I like that. Uh, we recycled our moves. You could also use Cheap Shot. Uh, no surprise I'm going to say that, right? Um, and potentially you could also use any plate that generates uh, yellow to get loaded again in case somehow you manage to miss 4 yellows. Uh, you can see, though, we only have four purples this time. 
so we're not likely to hit nearly as hard. But we can get more uh, gem damage out if we want, or more move damage, so I don't see any reason not to. We should get the yellows no problem, plus uh, it gives us a lot better chance to get the two words for you to go off. So we're not going to destroy anything, and we're going to do it all over again and get all that gem damage out. Or, sorry, move damage out. And give ourselves a chance to do that. That's another reason why I like two words for you on this. In case you don't catch many purples on your board reload. Still got a good chunk of the board. And still hit for almost a million again. There you have it. Quite good. Really low uh, charge. I like that a lot. Okay, next one. Uh, people are going to want to see the kickout, I think. Because kickouts are big. So we're going to load that. And take a look at double purple yellow finisher. Available at 3 star. Bring in all the new moves in. Bring in the finisher in. The royal fist. Bring in the reversal in. And we're bringing the running drop kick in. Again, this is available at 3 star. Royal finisher, 10 MP yellow. You're going to deal 143k damage and choose a 5x3 area to swap into purple gems. The reversal, 5 MP purple. Deal 97k damage and kick out of the pin. Swap 11 random gems to yellow gems. Uh, they don't deal damage, uh, but they do kick you out. Also of note, it will move the pin bar on you when they break, um, causing you potentially to pin on your next move. So do keep that in mind. Uh, it works just like uh, a bunch of other kickouts do. So... Running drop kick, 6 MP purple, deal 70k damage, and swap a 4x2 random area into yellow gems. Um, entourage for this one, we're going to go with Woodsy to start, purple MP. I do like the low charge on the running drop kick. Uh, the random means you're basically going to pin every time you hit it uh, to start, so you are looking at turn 2, but that's okay. It's uh, usually going to be pretty decent and we have the kick out we're putting in um zombie drew for purple gem damage of course i believe um seth will work out to hire uh, tough seth and then the original trickster rock who is very old news at this point um our 35 percent both purple gem damage could go in there they're much more rare than drew so we're going to keep drew in and then keep the rest of the coaches the same for this again for lawler i like double fury um, because he's blowing up the board with the stuff he does, or big areas. Uh, cheap shot, two words for you again. Um, these moves will recycle themselves, so... You may or may not clip two words, it's tough to say. Uh, but this is basically going to pin every time, unless you get super lucky. But it does, that being said, still hit pretty decently. 500k um, off of that 6 MP move. Possible you'll get some cheap wins if the AI doesn't match uh, good gems and stuff. So, entirely possible. And then the finisher, um, you're just making a big ol' area purple. Looking to connect as many purples as you can. That's a lot of purple. Nice little cascade. 855,000 if you want to run the kick out. Not bad. Okay. So there you have that. Now let's go to the final build set. And uh, this one is the one I expected to like the most. And it definitely hits really hard. Uh, really, really hard. So it is quite good. We are just going to move one move in. That's the one we haven't seen yet, the Body Slam. 6 MP yellow. 
We're going to deal 77,000 damage and choose a 7x3 area to make into reinforced gems. Everything else is going to stay exactly the same. Uh, this is going to allow us to break double the purple gems on the finisher and hit extremely hard. Again, cheap shot, two words for you. He's going to recycle these flawlessly, so, you know, you could also do head games, but you are blowing up a big chunk of the board. Um, so who knows how that'll go. All right. I'm going to put these reinforced gems down and then do a whole, whole passel of damage. I like... So the thing is, too, um, you can sometimes get a couple extra purple gems, but it doesn't always cascade the way you might think. So sometimes uh, doing it more like this ends up being more damage. The, the reinforce are interesting with how they cascade and stuff. Uh, so, you know, I'd recommend playing around with it sometimes and just to, just to see. And let's see how this works out down here. See if we get any cascading after. We do. A little bit. Uh, 1.5 million. Pretty good. And of course it recycles. Really, really good. Um, man. Really, I have a lot of nice things to say about this card. For a free MLC card, for a Hall of Famer, uh, if you're playing this game, if you're watching this, if you're a new player, um, even if you're an old player, level this card up as far as you can during the MLC. You're going to be super useful to you. Um, if you're free to play, maybe you only have Piper, one other Hall of Famer. The tokens are hard to get. Uh, Piper and this guy are going to be a really useful showdown link for you. Um, it's just a really, really good card. I'm very pleased with this one. Go for the gear. Get the gear. Uh, do what you need to to get it. It's going to be worth your time. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm running it again just because you guys can see it. Um, he's really good. Lose a little bit of damage when the uh, month-long buff goes away, but not enough that it'll matter between the two uh, the two builds. The one you saw first or this one gives them some versatility. Can definitely crank out the gem damage. Um, here's one where we'll do well, I'll, where I'll try and connect a few more of the purples uh, to give you guys that look. And go right in between all this stuff. Got a nice cascade on this one. I think we're going to end up hitting harder this time. Yes, sir. 1.72 million. Very nice. Uh, I think that says it all. Uh, make sure and uh, go for this uh, great free MLC Hall of Fame card. Uh, very happy to have him in the game, and the way he's built and plays I think is just fantastic. Make sure and get those gears. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and remember to like, subscribe, and share, as that really helps me out. Other than that, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.